Hello and welcome back to the homestead. In today's video we will be doing some electrical wiring and the septic will be put in and maybe a few other things. We'll see what we can get to. I hope you enjoyed the video today. Thanks for watching. Well we're out in the woods today and we found a box turtle. He's bedded down no, for the winter. Nothing in the giant rock. He's still alive. Oh. He closed up for the short day. Hey, sweetie turtle. So he's like, ooh, what's that? What is that, Lily? Up and I want. Hey, little bro. It's just crazy how they're just all over here. Give me some. You better do it. <laughs> yep, and we learned don't move them. So we're just going to leave them here before we leave. So he survives. So the plumbers are done. Here's the water heater and the water softener. Washer and dryer. And here is the main bathroom. They've even got the bathtub installed. And you can see Perry got the vents and the can lights installed. It's coming along nicely. And here's the pot filler for the stove. Piping for the island sink is completed. And it's all set for the refrigerator. Now the master bathroom. The vent is in the toilet room. All the plumbing for the toilet is in. And the plumbing for the sink. And then over in the shower, we will have rain shower head, a light, and we will have the wall shower head. And we put the knobs for the shower over to the side so you can turn it on without getting sprayed. So Perry's working on installing all the can lights in the house. And here's the, for the vanity light in the master bathroom. Now the fun part, figuring out where to put them in the kitchen. Here he's marking the rafters so we get them all the same distance from the wall. Then I tell him where to put the light and he locks it in place.
I wish I was not afraid of heights like he is. Would you be able to do that? Leave it down in the comments. Fall is here and the leaves are changing and falling off the trees. It sure is pretty. The pond was completely dry and with just one full day of rain, it filled it up about halfway. Here you can see them working on the septic tank. They sure had no problems digging after that big rainstorm. The dirt looks almost dry. Here's the septic lines put in. They are moving along quickly. And over here is the thousand gallon tank. And now back inside to do some electrical. I have started on little Perry's bedroom. It's coming along nicely. So I measure six inches and split the outer coating for when we put the outlet in. And then just stick it into the box and roll it up and push it in so it doesn't get wrecked when the drywaller installs the drywall. And just a few little staples to hold it all in place. And on to the next box. Here I am pulling the wire to connect the next two boxes together. And we just keep going around the room like that. So today they are filling up the septic tank with water. This will keep it in the ground when it freezes until we get in the house and start using it. So 
So they will be installing 300 feet of lateral line. So that comes out of the septic and then it goes through these and that's what filters it? Yeah. Oh. We'll have probably at least five of these ditches down through there. So this one and then we'll drop down and do another one. And then we'll drop down and do another one. They'll all be connected together. Okay, and so, that stuff, the, the peanuts, that just stays in there? Mm -hmm. I suppose what did they say, how long it takes for them to break down? Yeah. See how many they put in in the next video. I hope you enjoyed. Please make sure to subscribe, like, click that bell. Thank you.